Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and today we are going to learn how to crochet the wavy shell stitch pattern, which is the pattern you see here before you. Now this pattern is made up of single crochet and double crochet stitches. I have worked it in three uh, different colors, basically working one row in each color because I thought it would really show off the stitch quite nicely. You can work uh, this pattern in as many colors as you like and it would give it quite uh, unique and, uh, and that look. So um, thank you so much for joining me today and uh, if you haven't already please check out the rest of my YouTube channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials and I would love it if you would subscribe. So thank you so much for joining me for this wavy shell stitch tutorial. Grab a hook and some yarn and let's get started. So today for our wavy shell stitch, what we are going to do is we are going to begin by making a foundation chain with a multiple of 14 stitches plus three. Now with this stitch, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can uh, crochet it all in one solid color. You can use multiple colors. Today I will be working with three different colors um, just because I found the color really showed off the beauty of the stitch. So you're going to need a foundation chain of 14 plus three. I'm going to start by chaining uh, 31 stitches. Twenty There's thirty and thirty one. So a multiple of fourteen plus three for your foundation chain. To begin this pattern, what you're going to do is you're going to start by working three double crochet stitches in the third chain from your hook. So count in from your hook, one, two, three. In that third chain, work three double crochet stitches. Your beginning chain three is going to count as a double crochet stitch. Next, skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and work one single crochet stitch in each of the next seven chains. Four, five, six, and seven. Skip the next three chains, one, two, and three, and then you're going to work seven double crochet stitches in the next stitch. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and then work one single crochet stitch in each of the next seven chains. You're going to repeat that all the way across to you your final four chains. Once you reach your final four chains, you are going to skip three and you're going to work four double crochet stitches in that final chain. Four, 
Now, if you are going to change your colors, as I did in my example, for your final double crochet stitch, you're going to start, you're going to yarn over, you're going to pull up a loop, you're going to yarn over and pull through two loops. But instead of completing the stitch in that same color, you're going to drop your first color, your color A, pick up your color B, add it onto your hook, and complete your double crochet stitch by pulling that new color through. And then you're all set to start your second row with your new color. If you're continuing on with the same color, no problem, just complete your double crochet stitch there um, and uh, get ready to start row two. For row two, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You are now going to work one single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way across. So one single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end, again, if you're going to change colors as I did, you will complete your final single crochet stitch working in your new color. I'm coming to the end of row two. Also remember at the end of row two that beginning chain three was a stitch. It was a double crochet stitch. So you have to remember to work your final stitch in the top of that stitch. I'm going to be switching colors once more. So I'm going to start my single crochet by pulling up my loop. I'm going to drop that color B, pick up my third color, place it on my hook, yarn over and pull through. I'm now set to start row three using my new color. For row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to place one single crochet in the same stitch as your beginning, in the first stitch there, and single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Two and three. Skip three stitches, one, two, three, and now work seven double crochet stitches in the next stitch. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and work seven single crochet stitches, uh, one single crochet stitch, story in each of the next seven stitches. So there's one, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're now going to repeat all the way across. Skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and work seven double crochet stitches in the next stitch. Five, six, and seven. You're going to do that. Uh, skip three, single crochet in the, each of the next seven, skip three, seven double crochet in the next stitch, all the way to your final seven stitches. When you reach your final seven stitches, you're going to skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and you're going to place one single crochet stitch in each of the next four stitches. Once again, if you're going to change color in that final stitch, You'll begin your single crochet drawing up your loop, but then drop that color and then pick up the new color that you're going to be working with. In my case, it'll be my color A that I begin with. Put it on your hook and pull through the two loops from your single crochet stitch. For row four, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to single crochet in that first stitch and then single crochet in each stitch all the way across. When you come to your final stitch, if you're going to change color, you will change color at the end uh, of that stitch.
I'm marking my final stitch there in row four. I'm going to drop uh, the color A and I'm going to pick up my color B once again. So basically I am uh, working each row in, uh, in one color. So I'm just alternating every three rows, picking up my color A again and so forth. So once uh, I have completed that row four, I've picked up my new color B, I'm going to chain three, and I'm going to turn my work. Now for row five, I'm going to place three double crochet in the same stitch as my joining, as my uh, first stitch there. So this chain three, remember, counts as a double crochet. I'm going to work three more double crochet stitches into that stitch. Two and three. You're going to skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and work one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and work seven double crochet stitches in the next stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way across to the final seven stitches in that row. So skip the next three, then work one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Skip three and work seven double crochet stitches uh, in each of the next, or in the next stitch. Skip three, work your seven single crochet stitches. All the way to the end of your row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you have your uh, come to your final four stitches, you're going to skip three and work four double crochet stitches in that final stitch. And the top of that final double crochet stitch, so I've yarned over, pulled up a loop, I'm going to yarn over, pull through two loops. When I have two loops left on my hook, I want to change colors. I'm going to drop my color B, pick up my color C, and complete my double crochet stitch with it. And that brings you to the end of row five. Now for the rest of this pattern, you are simply going to repeat rows two to five uh, for the length of, uh, of your desired pattern. So row two was your chain one, turn your work, and you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across. Your row three was your chain one, and then you were going to single crochet in each of the first four stitches, skip three, seven double crochet in the next stitch, and uh, just continue on from there. And that's all there is to working this wavy shell stitch. So thank you so much for joining me for this video tutorial on how to work the wavy shell stitch. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Happy crocheting. Bye.